Hey, what's going on guys? This is the girl Chanel. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited to be sitting down here to share this video with you guys. This is going to be my very first story time. I've been seeing a lot of these story time videos going around. So I'm super excited to share my first story time with you guys. I actually gave a poll um, for you guys in my community tab for you guys. I put it in my community tab and I sent out a poll with three juicy story times videos about or not videos suggestions or topics about my ex and um you guys voted and you, this is what you guys wanted to see so i'm just i have my phone right here i'm gonna go into here quickly and um we're gonna see what you guys voted for all right oh gosh give me a sec guys cool okay so the first one was a sip on wine the time my subscriber exposed my ex. That's the first one. The second one was sip on wine. A girl told me she was pregnant by my ex. Yes, pregnant by my ex, okay. And the third one was a get ready with me. Um, my ex proposed to all three of us. All three of us got a ring. But the first one you guys wanted to see was the sip on wine. The first one, my subscriber exposed my ex. The second one was when he proposed to all three of us. And the third one was um, he got a girl pregnant. So since you guys wanted to hear about the subscriber, how my subscriber exposed my ex, that's what we're going to do. I kind of like the, how that Unwind with Tasha K does where she sips on some wine and she tells you the celebrity news, entertainment news and all that stuff. I'm going to do a little bit of something like that. I'm not breastfeeding tonight. So I have my wine in my glass. Click, click. And um, I'm going to be drinking the Strawberry Simba, the girls' night out one. And this is the watermelon, strawberry watermelon flavor. So we're going to get into that. Got my glass right here. I'll wait for you to get yours, okay? And let's get into the story. Okay, so I'm going to get comfortable, and y'all get comfortable too, okay? Alright, so if you guys have been following me for a very long time, or those of you guys who have been following me for a long time, my old G's, you will know that I used to post videos on my channel of me and a particular guy. Now, I featured him on my channel. We have quite a few videos on my channel together. Me and him had a series together called To All of Us, where it was subscribers or just people would send in either emails or letters to us and they would tell their problems and then I would give my perspective from a girl's point of view. He would give his perspective from a male point of view and we'll give perspectives as couples and would give, um, you know, We'll give commentary or we'll just give advice or whatever the case may be to these people. So we started a little series and that was after we did the boyfriend and girlfriend tag, which is probably still one of my most popular videos on my channel. A lot of you guys love that. I was really open back then. Like I was so open with you guys. So I let you guys into my I let you guys into my life, right? So anyways, that video is super popular. You guys love seeing us together. And right after that, um, Valentine's Day was rolling around and we, like, Valentine's Day was amazing. That was the night that he proposed to me. Proposed to me, okay? So, <laughs> sorry, this is so crazy. So that was the night he proposed to me. Anyways, I'll tell, okay, so that was in February he proposed to me. I think all of this happened when the subscriber, when did she contact me? This has got, had to be either, I, don't, I, I think it was maybe June or July sometime. I don't even remember the date, honey. Uh, girl, I don't even, sis, sis, I don't even remember the date. But it had to be around that time because Valentine's Day passed. I had my ring. He proposed to me and I will leave the video card of the proposal video up here as well as the um what the the, the the proposal video and as well as our boyfriend and girlfriend tag so anyways his birthday was oh, I, i'm lying excuse me no no i'm lying i'm lying he proposed to me in february his birthday is in the month of September. What am I talking about? June, July. So the weekend of his birthday, 
um, he was going out of town with some of his boys. And I wasn't going to be able to spend the day of his birthday with him, okay? I wasn't going to be able to spend the day with him. Um, he had already prior, told me prior that he had his boys were taking him somewhere or whatever. And they had made this plan from a long time ago. Um, and I didn't really think anything of it. I mean, of course, I was disappointed. Who doesn't want to spend their birthday with their man or their girl, right? I was disappointed, but I knew that I was going to see him the next day. And he was with his boys. And I didn't feel that he was lying because he called me. Um, and we talked for a really long time and I heard noise in the background. So I, I, I thought that he was really with his boys. I had no reason to believe that he would be lying to me or was lying. So fast forward, his birthday passes. The next day, um, I go see him. I didn't have my own place at the time. I was staying with my mom, trying to save my coins to get a place. So I was staying with my mom with my baby and um, he had his own place. So primarily that's where I go see, I go spend time with him, like sleep over, spend time with him, cook for him, do whatever, you know? So um, yeah, the next day after his birthday, after he came back from out of town with his boys, I went and I spent time with him. So we had a really cool time. We went out for dinner. We went to the crib. We were chilling. We were laughing. We we're getting it in. I'm just mean. We were doing the most. Okay. So, um, we're lying in bed. And okay, let me hold on. Back up. Back up. Back up. So prior to that, I was having dreams. And ladies, you know, if you start dreaming of your partner, significant other, and you start having those funny dreams, dreams of infidelity, dreams of cheating, <laughs> you, you need to follow your gut, or at least that is the case for me. Once I start dreaming, you messing around, you're messing around, okay? I don't even call that a dream. I call that a vision, okay? God is just revealing you to me. So I was already having some very funny dreams, like, I was dreaming that I was in his house and I went to, his bed to use the bathroom and in the garbage I seen strands of hair and I was like, what the hell is going on? And I was just like asking him, like, what is going on? I'm, this is what I'm dreaming because I always tell you my dream. I give you the opportunity, you know? And he was like, you're overreacting. Nothing like that's going on. Blah, blah. This, the whole works, the whole story. Anyways, me and him were lying in his bed. We had just finished doing the do, okay? We were lying in his bed. And I hear a knock at his door. So I'm like, who the hell is knocking at his door this late night, okay? And he wouldn't go to the door. He didn't answer the door. He's like, I don't answer. Who's knocking at my door? If you don't call me, then don't come to my house. And that's exactly how I am. If you don't inform me that you're coming to my house, you'll be knocking forever because I'm not answering my door. Don't come to my door unannounced. Don't come to my home unannounced. Let me know that you're coming. So he didn't answer his door. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. The knock was there. You know, the knock came again. And then I was getting this really weird feeling. Keep in mind, if you guys know him or you've seen him, he's a very big guy. Like, he is, first of all, he's very tall. He's like at least 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, and at the time, he weighed a lot, right? He had a muscular build. So this me, I'm like five four, five three and a half. Okay, this guy was six four, six five. He's huge compared to me. My little self, and he was just like, "Don't go to." He's just like, "I'm not going to my door." So what the hell am I gonna do? Get up and run to the door, bitch? No, I kept my ass lying down in the bed, cause he just seemed like he didn't want to open his door. So this person was knocking, knocking at the door, knock knock. That knock went from a little to a full-on bang, like a bang on the door. The person wasn't saying anything, but they were banging on the door. So at this point, I was already uneasy because I was just like, this doesn't make no sense. Who would be knocking at your door like this? And why isn't this person not going? It can't be a Jehovah Witness. It can't be anything like that because first of all, it's late at night, number one. Number two, <laughs> this person is banging on the door. So something is not sitting right, okay? It just wasn't sitting right with me. So anyways, the person ends up leaving. The person's not saying anything, but they're knocking on the door. 
and he gets up and he goes and looks he comes back and he's like don't go to the door he's not answering his door he doesn't know why these people are knocking at his door or whatever i'm not going to argue with him because arguing with him is just it's going to take it take this thing to a whole another level and i just wasn't even in the mood so i let it go even though i was looking at him with a side eye like who's knocking at your door like and i was giving him attitude after that like i really was yes i was like who's knocking at your door and why is this person continuously knocking at your door would you care to explain and he didn't have an explanation so anyways we put that to the side. we put that to the side okay and the next day, we're still, we've had breakfast, we're still chilling, still talking. Everything was perfect, okay? We had a good night. He was showing me some presents that he got. I remember he got this, um, the sound beat or deck or whatever, some sound deck. And he was so happy. And he had got some new Jordans and he was so happy and all that stuff. Now, I'm telling you, hold on, let me just say this. Let me do a little disclaimer. I'm telling you guys my story from my perspective of what happened, okay? This is Chanel's story of what happened to her. I can't talk for anybody else. I'm just telling you my side of the story of what happened. So, like I said, everything was perfect. The next morning, everything was perfect. Now, I was, gonna, I was going home. Um, because I was there and I needed to get back to my son. I was able to, I slept over the night, so I needed to get back to my son. So I go now, and at the time I wasn't driving either. So I needed to take, hop my ass back on the bus, the TTC, so I could get home. I need to take the bus. He drove, I wasn't driving at the time. So, okay, so keep in mind, I'm living at home with my mom. I don't have a vehicle, right? And at the time, he was, he was in college, but I was... I was I went back to adult school to upgrade my marks so I could get into my into my program. I needed to upgrade my marks, right? So I was going to like a adult like an adult school where I was doing classes classes in the day and then sometimes in the evening. So let's be very clear with that. I was working, but I was also going to school. So the next day I get home now everything is okay and just like normal that time my YouTube was booming so I, I used to get a lot of reviews a lot of hair sent to me a lot of products sent to me so typically what I do because I was a youtuber a content creator back then I would go into my email and I would check my emails now I seen an email that said girl beware I was like what the hell is this so I didn't really think anything of it because you know sometimes you get spammed those little fraudulent emails about someone telling you that you're their you're their beneficiary or you know send money through Western Union all types of foolishness you know you know you know those kind of emails so I thought it was something like that so I click on it just just to click on it and boy <laughs> when I tell you this girl laid it out okay she told me everything from the beginning to the middle to the end so I'm gonna sum up this email she was just like I just cannot believe it I cannot believe that this is the same guy um, that proposed to you that recently just proposed to my friend um, <laughs> sorry she was just like I cannot believe and then she told me is this such and such this is such and such and he goes to such and such school and he lives around such and such area and I cannot believe I caught I seen him on your YouTube channel I was just I've been a subscriber of yours and I just happened no what she said is before she subscribed to me she said I seen your video in a recommendation post and sorry guys my camera stopped so let me get back to say that so she, the girl had sent me an email and she was just like I cannot believe it's the same guy I cannot believe that I came on your page and this is such and such person he just proposed to my friend he's just like my friend is pregnant with his baby he proposed to her at school I was like what I'm like I was reading and I was just like what the hell is going on like broke it down gave me the girl's name she was pregnant with twins for him she uh, he proposed to her at school he serenaded her like he could sing okay like if he, this guy could actually sing me and him used to have like singing battles like this he could he has a really nice voice 
so this guy serenaded this girl and he proposed to her in school like in front of everybody okay so I was just like okay so what your girl did after receiving that email I sent a response back to the friend now what your girl also did I was just like this <laughs> this has me up okay he definitely has me fucked up so I took my black ass back on the bus and took went back to his house I just made up a story of missing him and Malachi is okay and I want to come back and spend some time with him and I went back to the house and when I went back to the house he was okay he was fine with that because you know like I said we had we had a great night we had a great morning like everything was good okay everything was perfect when I got back there he had no idea what was going on I didn't I was so mad but I kept I held my composure so well like you don't understand I was steaming like I was so I can't even tell you how mad I was like I was just seeing red I was on the bus and I was just shaking I was just like you know when you bounce you know you're upset when you're bouncing right I was bouncing so I just remember that it was the longest bus ride when I was going it didn't seem so long but when I was getting back to his house it seemed like it was gonna take forever ever and that was two buses I needed to take I needed to take two buses to get back to his house okay so I get back to his house I act like everything's normal I give him a kiss I tell him that I want to use this computer and I'm on his computer and I'm sitting down I think he was watching he was either watching Murray or he was watching some show and um, he's like babe come sit on the couch so anyways I go and I cuddle up on the couch with him and I'm, I'm acting completely normal this guy has no idea what's about to happen what's about to take place okay so I pull up the email on my phone I pull up the email on my phone and I turn to him I mean keep in mind I'm smiling I turn he doesn't know I, I don't know if he knew but I thought I held my composure really well and I thought that I, I, I did a damn good job of not letting him know when I got there but you know sometimes you you kind of have a sense right because again remember there was a knock on the door the night before so I don't know what he knows so anyways I sit down beside him I go on the couch and we're cuddling and I go and I sit on his lap and I have my head on his shoulder and um, I say I said babe look at this and I, I I'm showing him the phone and he's reading and he's reading everything and the smile that he had on his face quickly started to dissolve it quickly started to disappear okay he had the stupidest and I I can't even tell you he had the stupidest look on his face like when someone just gets caught red-handed and they don't have nothing to say that's the look he has on his face and I was just like what is this like just plain and straight like what is this what is this why is a subscriber messaging me and telling me that you have a girl pregnant and as well as you propose to a girl at your school this girl such and such and such and such and such and such he denied it at first he's like this is a lie blah 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 Ray tay 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 he was just lying and I was just like listen <laughs> My face is not made out of cement. I don't know who and what or what you think. My face is not made out of cement. So are you going to continue to lie to me? Or are you going to tell me the truth? Like what the is going on? Like what is it? And you know when a guy is lying when they start hyping up. Like you know they're getting mad like. Oh, uh, 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 and you're trying to like have like this aggressive attitude like. No, you need to calm down because that's the first sign of a guilty person. Why are you so hype? If this has, if this, there's no truth to this story. This person's lying. It's this person just making up lies. Nothing like this happened. Why would he be lying about that? So he was trying to convince me that this was a complete lie. That nothing like that happened. He's not engaged to anybody. No one's pregnant with his baby. Nothing like that. And this is not the story of what I tell you. A girl told me she was pregnant. This That's a completely different story, okay? But this girl 
first of all, both of them were pregnant, but this girl was definitely pregnant with his child, twins, and I got it. The timeline is like so messed up with this, okay? But she was pregnant for this guy and he proposed to her in school, serenaded her and proposed to her in front of friends at school, okay? <laughs> I don't know who does that. I don't know if, uh, who, who does that? But anyways, so <laughs> that's how I found out. A subscriber sent me an email letting me know that this guy had gotten her friend which was her very good friend or best friend pregnant and she can't believe that she seen him on my video when he just recently proposed to the friend and they're having a baby and the baby was due in this x amount of months and blah 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 now the funny thing about that timeline now okay when every when i went back home so i left i should say this i left because I was pissed off. And you know after a while you're arguing with someone. It's just not going anywhere. And he was like getting. He's like really getting in my face. Like he was pissed. And I was just like. Th this was going to go to a next level. So I left. Uh, he actually grabbed my phone. I remember he grabbed my phone. And like I said this guy is so big. He grabbed my phone. And I was just trying to get my phone back. And get the hell out of there. So I said I don't want to talk about this. I just need space. I need time. So he ended up walking me back to the bus stop I remember I don't remember if he got on the bus with me or he walked but he definitely walked me back to the bus stop whatever and then I went on the bus and then at that time I emails were still coming in the friend was emailing me so when I got home the girl that was pregnant for him and his fiance we got on the phone together and when me and this girl I need to take a sip. When me and this girl got on the phone together, she was explaining the story to me and she was telling me how everything happened. And we were just, you know, you know how girls go back and forth. We were talking about things that happened. And she then told me she was the one that was knocking on his door. She was banging on the door because he wasn't answering her calls. He, She actually was the one that was spent, spent time with him the night before for his birthday. She had taken him out for his birthday. She had bought him... Remember that music doc that I was telling you about? She was the one that had bought him that music doc that he was playing those love songs with that I was using. She had bought him that and those Jordans that I seen in front of his door, she had bought him that, okay? And she was pissed. The girl was just like, Hi, who do you got in your house? Why you ain't answering your door? And I don't even know how he had time to cheat because I was always with him. Like, I guess when I went home, she came I, I don't even know I don't even know where he got the energy and the time I just ugh, I don't even know but <laughs> homegirl we were like exchanging stories and she was telling me what she got with him and she was saying that she got with him um I don't know if it was the end of January or the beginning of um like the second the first week of February or something like that or maybe it was like the first week of February and bitch when I tell you if you guys seen my proposal video, you would have seen how, um, what I did for him and you would have seen what he did for me. It was like super sweet. As doggish as this guy was, that has still got, it was such, it was, it was a beautiful scenery, okay? Homegirl was just like, oh, and he's so sweet for Valentine's Day. Um, I never got to spend time with him for Valentine's Day, but on Valentine's Day he had roses on the... Do you know this nigger? <laughs> Do you know this guy? The setup that I set up for him, like the roses and the bed and the candles and the games and everything. Do you know this guy saved everything in that room and he brought that girl to the house and he <laughs> and he pretended like he did it? <laughs> Sorry. She was just like, he's so sweet. I'm like, thank you. I'm like, you're welcome. She's like, what? I'm like, you're welcome. You said that he did that. Honey, I did that. So you could thank me, okay? You could thank me. I did that. So you're welcome, okay? You are welcome. This girl, anyways, we were like going back and forth. And I was just like, pretty much to sum everything up, because I could go into a long rant about this, but pretty much to sum it up, um, like I said, she was pregnant for him. She was pregnant. And um, she did have a ring. So 
the ring that he gave me so when he gave me that ring he always told me that he's going to change the ring once he gets um money he's going to save up and get a ring <sighs> this guy showed me a ring he sent me a text message of the of the ring and he's like baby do you like this this is the ring i want to i'm going to exchange your ring for and i was like oh the ring is so beautiful so after him giving me that ring the ring that he sent me a picture of and texted me with is the ring that he actually proposed to that girl with at the school like it was just a whole bunch of mess a whole bunch of drama but at the end of the day one thing i told her because she was talking and she was she was being pretty sis i know you're hurt i'm hurt too i was with him longer than you keep in mind this is a guy that i didn't just date him then me and him dated years before I even had my son Malachi. Me and him dated. We broke up. I broke up with him the first time. We broke up. Um, and that situation didn't work. And then, sorry guys, my camera died. So you know sometimes when you get with somebody or when you break up with somebody and you, instead of dating somebody new, you just go back to your comfort zone, what's comfortable for you. I already knew him. Um, he wrote me and he said he misses me and this and that and he wasn't a bad boyfriend back then He wasn't things were just moving a quicker than I was willing to accept and I just wasn't Serious to move in the direction that he wanted to move in. I wasn't into that So I broke up with him, but we got back together and it was easy for us to get back together because I really liked him back then too, you know, and the second time I got with him, I really cared about him then too. So it was it was just easy. So this is a guy that I had a lot of history with. Me and this guy have so much history. Like, we have so much history. But anyways, homegirl was pregnant and she was being rude. Like, she was just, she was doing the most. She was just doing too much. Like, I remember her saying to me, you guys deserve each other i typically talk to ball players or i talk to she just tell me she, the type of girl that she is which is fine and the one thing that i said i said i'm hurt now and this was my number one thing i said i'm hurt today i'm hurt now but i don't have no ties to this guy i'm not pregnant for him i'm not having this child i will be okay i will get over it I will bow, I will bow out, I will gladly bow out, and that's what I did, I never looked back after that, you ain't gonna go, ha go out and have a whole baby on me, and you think that me and you are gonna be together, I'm gonna sit down like Boo Boo the Clown, no, okay, no, 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 so I <laughs> gracefully bowed out, <laughs> okay, and um, so much things have to, happened after that, because so much stuff came out, so much stuff, that's a whole nother story okay <laughs> so much stuff came out but a subscriber actually emailed me after seeing our videos here on youtube and being a friend of that girl and she told me everything she's the one that exposed him and let me know that he was cheating on me that he had a whole other life he was living more than a double life he had a girl pregnant he was engaged to this girl i don't even know if it was a real engagement because he, he still ain't married okay And the ring that he gave that other girl, he gave to some other girl too. So, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. But that is the story of how my ex got caught. And how my subscriber, my wonderful, wonderful subscriber, ex both. Let me tell you something. If you guys know anything, hear anything, see anything that concerns me, let me know send me an email okay do what you gotta do look out for your girl because i will do the same for you but anyways guys thank you so much for um sticking with me and listening to my story time i hope you guys like it comment down below let me know your thoughts like th that is just like so crazy now would you be mad at your friend for exposing somebody or would you be okay with that comment down below sound off let me know what you guys think and um, I'll see you guys in the next video the next video will be probably when a girl called me to let me know that she was no no lies <laughs> black planet which is kind of like plenty of fish 
which is kind of like um, any of those black people meet, just like Black Planet is one of those kind of chat room things when a girl let me know that she was pregnant for my ex and had a baby on the way and actually had a baby. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.